foundation wall layout. In this section of the video, we will discuss establishing wall lines, squaring the layout, kicker boards, marking openings, and building rough bucks. Before any blocks or rebar are brought into the working area, it's important to first establish the correct placement for the blocks on the surface of the footings. Mark the outside corner points of the building on lifting. The corner points can be established from the surveyor offset pins. Snap a chalk line from the corner points marked on footing in order to establish outside wall lines. If inside wall lines are required, measure 11 and a quarter inches for 6 inch block or 8 and a quarter inches if using 8 inch block towards the inside of the building and snap chalk lines accordingly. Always make sure that all dimensions are correct and that the layout is square. There are four ways to make sure your corners are 90 degrees. By measuring diagonals, with batter boards, by survey, and by the 345 method. All of these methods should be familiar to experienced construction professionals. Corner and continuous kicker boards are attached to the footings to align the first course of blocks. Corner kickers are placed after the lines are chalked. Nail a 24-inch piece of 2x4 kicker each way at outside corners. This kicker will maintain the proper position of the corner forms while you run your first course of block. Continuous kickers may be placed from corner kicker to corner kicker. Nail down lengths of 2x4 material following the chalk line marked on the footings. Continuous kickers help keep walls straight during the concrete pour. This is a good time to mark openings for doors and windows. Once the kickers are in place, it is worth laying out important information on the footings, such as the location and rough opening sizes of any windows or doors. Now is also the time to construct rough opening bucks and place them near their locations. A rough opening buck is a lumber frame which is used to form the opening in which a window or door will be placed. It is specially designed to allow concrete to be poured through it into the blocks below.